right, so kind of a lot has happened since the last time I made a video. So I got a lot of pretty cool feedback on my flute collection, and I wanted to share one more time uh, some of the flutes that I have. A lot of people were really wanting to hear what the original sound was instead of with the actual echo put into it. Um, so if you subscribe to this video, I'm gonna make sure I put a link at the bottom so you could uh, be able to download the actual raw file themselves and use it for whatever music that you wanna incorporate it into. So my last video kind of blew up because of what Joe Rogan put out when he was playing the, the Aztec death whistle, which is kind of interesting because I thought not that many people knew about it. Uh, the one in particular that I have, um, actually was made in Mexico by an artist that I have been unable to get in contact with ever since. It's the closest replica to one of the archaeological ones found that uh, I guess people have been trying to replicate. A lot of the replicas are really big or vary in sizes. This one is actually true to the original size. Uh, so again, if you subscribe to this video, I'm going to put in a link at the bottom um, where you could download the original files, the original audio files. I'm currently recording with an Ashton Spirit mic, so hopefully you could get the full depth of sound. Since my last video, I ended up buying additional instruments. Um, I'm gonna leave the, the flute maker's link below so that you could go ahead and uh, contact him directly. He's an excellent flute maker. Um, if you've seen some of my previous videos, uh, I do play some of his instruments, so I can't recommend him enough. Please reach out to him directly if you're interested in buying any of these instruments. Again, the Asic Death Whistle itself, I cannot get a hold of the original maker. Let's get started. All right, so here is the Aztec Death Whistle. I'm going to show it a little bit more closely. It's really tiny, so if you've seen any of the ones found at the archaeological sites, they're actually uh, just as small. Uh, this one was actually had been made uh, as part of a series, so I know a few of them are still located within uh, museum collections. So here we go. So my next flute is called the vibrador. So it consists of two bodies. Uh, each one has the same exact notes on either side. So the fingering when you play it, it has to be, it has to be replicated on both sides and it can't be independent. It's not like uh, they're, they're in a different key or anything like that. So here's a close up of it. All right, now let me show you how it sounds like. Okay, so my next flute is in C pentatonic minor. Uh, it's a really awesome flute. You could see the fingering on both sides. So they both have different set of notes. I don't know if you could see it. So it has a higher register on my left side and the bassier notes on this extended side. So here it goes.
So the last instrument I'm going to show is this bird whistle. Uh, it consists of two holes. Uh, the best way to describe its sound is that of like an eagle. Uh, I've seen it used in several of the actual danzas by the Aztec or Mexica dancers. So let's see how it sounds. Hope you enjoyed my video. Um, if again, you like what you hear, be sure to subscribe. I'll be sure to put more additional downloadable links for you to download the actual audio. Feel free to use them in your music. Just please be considerate when you use the sounds. Be very mindful that these are sacred instruments uh, for a lot of the indigenous people throughout Mexico. Uh, once again, hope you enjoyed my video.